Katie and today I'm going to be taking a hike in the Wissahickon Valley Park here in Northwest Philadelphia. It's um, about a 2,000, a little over 2,000 acre park um, here in the city of Philadelphia for those of you who aren't familiar with it and it's like a little green oasis. It's one of my favorite places um, to go in the city to run or escape the city noise for a while um, and the really cool thing that I love about it is that even though it's super close it's actually it's only like a, a 10 minute drive from my apartment um, it really in parts of it it really feels like you're not in the city at all and fortunately for me since I'm trying to get in shape I'm, I'm leaving in a, just a little over a week I'm leaving for the trail and um, so I'm really trying to get myself into as good a shape as possible as I can before then. Um, and it has some pretty good like climbs and steep sections. It's definitely not flat terrain around here. Lots of hills and lots of really interesting historical landmarks too, which I really love um, about it. So today my plan is to uh, hike up to, I think it's called Andera Meadows. Um, there's also a little environmental center up by there. It's just like one, it's like the far northwest corner of the park, I believe, and I haven't been there before. Um, and today is, I feel so lucky, it is one of the first truly spring days here in Philadelphia that we are able to enjoy it's like it has to be like at least 65 degrees out right now sunny um i can't you know i can't describe how happy i am just to see the sun and feel the warmth again after you know being hit basically with snowstorm after snowstorm this march it's a pretty cold weather as well towards the end of the winter season but it looks like spring is, you know, finally coming now to Philly. Um, and I'm gonna take full advantage of that today. Um, so as part of my training strategy, I've been really loading down my pack um, so I can make sure that I get a sense of what it's like um, during the times where I have to carry the most. So right now I have about like five days worth of food and a liter of water in my pack and I know there's probably some parts of the trail where I'm gonna have to carry maybe a little bit more of that I know the hundred mile wilderness I might have to pack out six or seven days worth of food to get through that um, and in the summer there's probably some stretches where I'm gonna have to carry you know several liters liters of water on my pack in between um, water sources but I'm just trying now to like get you know a sense for how my body is gonna handle that weight you know how comfortable my pack is and give myself the opportunity to make any sort of last minute adjustments that might help the beginning of my hike go a little more smoothly um, so that's what I hope to accomplish on this hike today as well as just taking in the really beautiful scenery around me it's really really lovely here um, and I'll hopefully be showing you guys some shots of that later. open fields, some bird houses scattered throughout it. And here's the trail that's going to take me back towards, I think, the other meadows and uh, Bells Mill Road and the Environmental Center. So I'm going to head this way. So I'm feeling pretty grateful today just being out here. Um, you can definitely tell spring is in the air. It's just that smell of 
warm earth and you could hear a lot more chatter from the birds and the trees and I've been seeing like a lot of um, a lot of robins just flittering about on the ground looking for worms to eat and you know it's just it's just you know, what I really love about hiking is that it gives you it's kind of like the time and the space the setting the environment to really just appreciate those little little beautiful things about life like really lets you gives you a chance to kind of like soak in um, soak in the seasons and noticing the change of the seasons and appreciating really deeply appreciating that um, you don't really get a chance I mean in the city yeah maybe you you know you'll see the flowering trees come out and stuff like that but it's just it's just harder in your day-to-day -day life to notice and appreciate what's going on in the world around you and when you do slow down to notice it and appreciate it it just it feels really grounding like you feel reconnected to something you know bigger than yourself like the life force you know? Like reminding yourself you're you're part of it you're part of this crazy beautiful planet um, and that is just is a it's really good I think balm for the mind it brings on for me at least a real sense of um, a real sense of peace a sense of belonging joy so it's been a really nice, quiet, reflective hike. I've really only seen one other person on the trail out so far, probably because it's, you know, like 3 p.m. on a Thursday. <laughs> but um, I've been enjoying the solitude. It's been really, really lovely. After I soak this in, I'm going to head up the trail that's currently in front of me to see if I can find the Great Beach. Apparently it's one of the biggest beech trees in the United States. And I think this is the path that might take me there. So let's go and see if we can find it. Well, this is a bummer. That was definitely the path I was going to take to get to the Great Beach originally. So what I'm going to have to end up doing is probably backtracking down this way, turning around basically. I think there's another path back there that might get me to it. I just am going to miss out on some of the meadow views. Um, but one thing that I thought was really funny is this little sign right here. Yeah, pretty much. So if I want to get to the Great Beach, this is uh, the path that I got to go down to get it. All right, so onward. litter notices on the signpost. All right guys, so this is the Great Beach. Poor thing looks like it took a hit in some of the recent storms maybe. I don't know, maybe not. I'm not sure how recent that damage is there, but this is a giant tree. I'm sure the video isn't doing it justice. Look how cool those roots are. So yeah, the giant beach. 
also this sign so true i hate people who carve stupid things into trees it does hurt the tree it's not okay and it's not cool don't do that anyways whoa giant beet so beautiful gnarly man all right guys so it's now almost six o'clock so i'm starting to run out of daylight um so what my plan is now is that i'm gonna backtrack a little bit um back to bells mills road which i'm gonna cross uh i'm gonna use to cross over the wissahickon creek and get onto the orange trail and then take the orange trail um, all the way back down to the Rex Avenue um, bridge and trailhead, which is where I parked to get here today. So that's the plan for the rest of the hike. Check out, that's the great beach behind me. Pretty cool. All right, let's do this. I'm not gonna lie, this climb is kicking my butt. You can't really tell on video, but this is pretty straight uphill. So back behind me is Bell's Mill, so you can't really see it through the trees. Maybe you could hear it, the traffic, but I um, didn't want to cross Bell's Mill's bridge because Bell Mill, Bell's Mill, I don't even know, um, that bridge because um, there was like no shoulder and a lot of traffic. So I'm going to take this, um, this yellow trail. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. It came down this originally and then I'm going to head back over to, um, I'm going to cross the Wissahickon at the covered bridge. And then I'm going to take the orange trail back to Rex Avenue where I parked. So that's the plan always changing woman makes plans God laughs, <laughs> back to my car and I'm about to drive back home just feeling tired but so grateful for such a lovely hike today I can't it was just it was honestly it, it was the first day in months that really truly felt like spring and um, I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to be out there for hours um, and enjoy it I'm not, I'm honestly, I forgot to put on my, my little run keeper app that I used to track, uh, I used to track my mileage. Um, so I'm not sure how many miles I did today, but um, I'm gonna say my best guess, I might like play around with Google Maps later and try and figure it out, but I think I did at least um, five, maybe, maybe six today. So I'm feeling good, um, my knee is feeling good, um, my shoulder's surprisingly <laughs> feeling good. I think I'm getting more and more used to the five um, days worth of food in my pack, um, which I hope means that um, my usual three or four days of food will just feel like a dream. Um, that's the plan anyway. So yeah, good stuff. All right guys, take care until next time.